We've all come to know and love the TF2 Heavy, from the original Meet the Heavy teaser to the more recent SFM animations like Expiration Date. It's incredible to see how loved this character is. Everyone seems to love him. Just having two defining traits as being overweight and Russian. I guess being malnourished and from London is why no one likes me. So, I'm sure by now you know the infamous voice lines from Meet the Medic. Today, we'll be seeing if this is in fact the truth, or if the Heavy is following in the footsteps of some of the Soviet media outlets, being from Russia himself. I am Heavy Weapons Guy. And this is... So, after thinking about penetrating the Heavy, <clears throat> so, after thinking about a bullet penetrating the heavy, I came to the conclusion that there is no way his skin could be bulletproof. So I decided to ask the question that most of you are already thinking. How much fat does it take to stop a bullet? Not only does it confirm that our Russian friend is morbidly obese if he can stop a bullet, but it reveals that a 9mm bullet will be stopped after passing through around 60cm of fat. For any Americans who use the imperial system, 60cm is about how far you'd have to walk from your house before someone starts telling you their political beliefs. So, now we know that a bullet will stop after 60cm of pure bonk belly, we need to work out how much fat the Heavy actually carries. To work this out, I found out that the Heavy is 196cm or 6 foot 5 inches tall. The tallest class in the game actually. Not only does this make me feel inadequate as a male, it also led me to discover that his real name is Misha and also has a PhD in Russian literature. Teaching me that it doesn't matter how pretentious you are at university, becoming overweight and pouring significant money into some kind of mechanical equipment is unavoidable once you hit 57. I converted Misha's height into a relative measurement and used that to work out that the heavy has around. Oh wait, it's quite clear that it's less than 60 centimeters until the bullet would come into contact with Misha's internal organs, so that technically makes him not bulletproof. According to sciencefocus.com, a blue whale only has about 30 centimeters of fat. But what's this? It says that it's possible for someone that is 125 kilograms to have a point where there is a 60 centimeter layer of fat. So maybe, if you were able to hit the heavy at the exact right angle, he would be bulletproof. Although I don't think it would be the case judging by his proportions. In fact, Misha does look quite a lot more trim in the stomach than I remember him being. Looking closer, he doesn't seem that overweight at all. And all the weight he does have seems to be in his gigantic inflatable arms or spread across his wide build. Ugh, maybe my own false insecurities aren't the reasons people don't like me. Maybe I should just be less concerned about superficial things like video game character body weight and... Okay, never mind. Sadly, the NHS does say that he's obese. Anyway, let's be real here. We knew that when Misha said he was bulletproof, he meant it was because he was ubercharged and not that his skin can actually just defy physics and stop a bullet. When it comes down to it, I don't think we should be finding out whether the heavy alone is bulletproof, and not how ubercharged is bulletproof either, but how an ubercharge is able to stop every bullet type every melee weapon, every effect, yet when a literal jar of human urine is thrown onto an ubercharged player, the pea particles somehow go through the ubercharged layer soaking the person underneath. So, the heavy is bulletproof when ubercharged, but can still drip with urine, and the heavy is not bulletproof without ubercharge, although can obviously take a hefty amount of bullets in game. Don't forget that the heavy does have an armoured vest. Don't forget it. But don't think about it too much either. The TF2 fandom wiki thought it would be more appropriate to compare the similarities between the TF2 Heavy and Eric Cartman for about 10 times longer than talking about the armor itself. At least we know they've got their priorities straight. All in all, it's clear that at least in the video game world, the TF2 Heavy can take a few bullets, regardless of whether or not he is red and shiny. I know, I know, it's a lot of information to retain, but that's the kind of mind-blowing information you sign up for when you subscribe to this channel. That's all from me. Your homework for next week is to find out why the medic is fine with being covered in milk and Jurati, even when ubercharged. It's almost like he wants it. See you next week. I'm going to be doing a 3D modeling video next week, hopefully. This was just a quick one because I've got uni deadlines and stuff. Have a good day. Bye.